Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to root the Samsung Galaxy Tab E 9.6. So um, this is quite an easy process, and I'm going to take you through it real quick. But before I start, I'm just going to say a quick disclaimer: I will not be held responsible for your tablet if anything was to go wrong, if you brick it or if you damage it in any shape or form. I will not be held responsible. You do this off of your own free will. So now that's out of the way, I'm going to show you how to root the tablet. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is, you need to go to the website in the description down below. And when you go to the website, you're gonna, it's going to take you to this page. And all you need to do is download these files. So first you're going to download Odin. And then choose your model number. So if you've got the SMT560, you're going to choose, or the SMT377P, you're going to choose one of these files here. If you've got the T560 like I have, or the T561, you download from these two links here. And then you need to download the root file, Chainfire's root file from this link here and store, store all three files so the Odin file, the TWRP file and the root file there's going to be three files you're going to store all three on your desktop like, I, like I've done already so you should have Odin there the super user application this is the root file and TWRP recovery so all three of those files you're going to store them onto your desktop and then you're going to right click on Odin and you're going to select extract to Odin v3 so you can extract it and it's going to create a folder that says Odin v3 and inside it you're going to see the Odin file there the exe so you can go ahead and close that down now okay so on your tablet you need to go into your settings, go to about device, and as you can see here I've got the SMT560 model and I'm running Android version 4.4.4 KitKat. So anyway just keep tapping on the build number seven times until it says you are now a developer and it should then unlock the developer options here. You're going to select the developer options and you're going to select USB debugging and then you can go ahead and press back okay so now just go back to the Odin folder and launch Odin and then In fact, one second. Close Odin down. Connect your USB cable first to your tablet. And then drag and drop the super user zip file onto your memory card or your internal storage and then go ahead and close that down then open up Odin okay so when you connect Odin Okay, wait a minute. Just close that down for now. And unplug your phone. I mean your tablet, sorry. And power it off. So just power it off. OK, 
Okay, so when you power off, you're going to press the home button here. And you're going to press the volume down button on the side, along with the power button. So you're going to press all three, the home button, the volume down button, and the power button all at once. Until it says warning. And then you're going to press the volume up button until it says downloading mode. Now, now go back to your desktop and open Odin. And then connect your tablet to the USB. Just like this. And then you're going to select, before you select anything, where it says ID come here, make sure it's blue like this. If it's gray, that means you need to install the Samsung drivers. So go ahead and download Samsung keys. I'll leave a link to Samsung keys just in case you need it. Download Samsung keys and um, connect your tablet to Samsung keys. It will install the correct drivers and then reconnect it to Odin and then it will turn blue like this. But if yours is already blue like this, you can just go ahead and hit AP. And you're going to scroll down to where it says TWRP. It should be on your desktop. Like I've got it on my desktop there. Because don't forget you should save all three files onto your desktop. So it should be easy to find on your desktop. So just go ahead and click on it. And it should say added. And right beside AP that little box should be ticked and you should see the file there it should say smt560.tar just go ahead and hit start and it's going to flash the twrp recovery onto your tablet and then your tablet should reboot And it should it should then say pass on Odin there. And now you can unplug the USB. Okay, so now just power off again. Power off the tablet. And once again, you're going to press the home button here and the volume up button and the power button. So home button, volume up button and power button all at the same time. Until it goes into recovery mode. And then just swipe across to allow modifications. Now go ahead and hit install. And select the storage. So if you saved the super user zip file onto your memory card, you're going to select... Um, micro SD. If it's on your internal storage, just look for it in there. So I saved mine on the micro SD card. So I'm gonna select micro SD and go ahead and hit OK. And here it is. So just go ahead and tap the super user beta application, zip file I mean, and then just swipe across to confirm flash. 
and now it's going to root the tablet and just go ahead and hit reboot system once it's done okay so let's just wait for it to boot up okay so it's finished booting up so let's just look for the super user application and as you can see we've got the super user application there okay so one last thing just to make sure and confirm that we do have root we're just going to download the root checker application so just go to the play store and type in root checker and here it is just go ahead and download it and install it and then open it up go ahead and select agree hit ok and where it says verify root status just go ahead and tap on it and it's going to verify ok go ahead and hit grant there and as you can see Congratulations, root access is properly installed on this device, SMT560 Android version 4.4.4. So yeah guys, that's how you root the Samsung Galaxy Tab E9.6. If this video helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, feel free to share the video and um, if you get stuck, Leave any comments in the comment section down below and I'll help you out as soon as I can. Also stay tuned because I'm going to try and um, do some videos on some custom ROMs for this tablet if, if there's any available. So yeah, once again, thanks a lot for watching. It's your boy the Android Doctor and I'm out. Deuces.